previously on Divorce Court. I just can't take it anymore. Malik has shown me time and time again that he can't be trusted. He's a liar and a cheater. Tell me what your feeling was when uh, Ms. Standifer told you that she was pregnant with your child. Uh, I was just, you know, overwhelmed with excitement mm -hmm. because being a father is something that I've always wanted to be. When it was time for the baby shower, he did not show up by yeah. myself. Nobody there to take pictures with right. me. You gotta admit, that is a nice photo. It's a good photo of her. It's a good photo of a single mother. Something is telling me that these were some red flags that were flagging and waving. But what about you going into multiple women's DMs? It's a, it's a lot of things. Ah, Mr. Johnson, mm -hmm. single or not? So we've had an on and off again relationship. But we was definitely on. Your boyfriend has been disrespectful by messaging other women on social media in manners that are reflective of somebody who, if they're not cheating, they want to. So now you had some additional evidence that so, you yeah. wanted to show me? So yes, um, in response to her coming uh, at me with allegations that may or may not have been true, you know, I... Um, Stand in your space. I one day, I came out and I saw my car had been tire slashed, spray painted, cheater. Vandalized? Yes, but the way she did it, she couldn't even spray paint the car correctly, if you could. See the uh, middle uh, photo, you see okay, that cheater, so Cheater's not even... Uh, Ma'am, let, let him talk. speak. Let, let him talk. speak. Mr. Johnson's talking. If you see Cheater, she had to... Like, you know, when you type in on the, you know, Microsoft Word and you run out of space and then you got to put the word... The words start hanging off on the next line. She couldn't even... I don't know what she wrote on the side, but she uh, slashed my tires. I had to go to work and, you know, she jeopardizing how I feed our baby, so... No question. Absolutely. Ms. Sandifer? Yes. That's, you vandalized the man's car? Yes, but you gotta realize where I was at in that space. I was still pregnant with our daughter, and I had drove... He wasn't answering his phone calls. Ms. Sandifer? Yes, but he wasn't Did you there. or did you not hear me say what excuses are? Let me tell you something. If, in fact, the man wanted to have you arrested, he could have. I need people to take responsibility for their behavior. This is not the response to some... You, you being disappointed at your expectations in the relationship. You know what your appropriate response is? Mm -hmm. I'm done with your cheating behind. But it's... Get your pictures and your plants, put it in this box and get out of my house. That's an appropriate response. Vandalizing and damaging the, the man's property is not an appropriate response. But he was like, and, I, I think... I... He was like my first real relationship as an adult, and it's, it's hard to walk away when that person so, like, they, he was so he was so promising in the beginning. But it's, it's like, not hard maybe... to damage his property. I'm gonna get in your case the same way I'm gonna get in Mr. Johnson's case. Cause what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Get it, Yana. He's a he's a now, honey. I do not need <laughs> exactly. no amen she corner. Don't need you. you need to stand in your courtness and be quiet. I'm, I'm sorry, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm, for real, this is really about what real relationships are. Okay, they're not always easy, and it's not always going to be flowers. Sometimes it's gonna be tough. Sometimes you're gonna be like, why am I even doing this? But then you m remember back to sometimes when you were happy. And what you don't do is resort to violent outbursts. What you don't do is when the intimacy has slowed down, is slide in with somebody else. That's not what grown people do. But yes, yes ma'am. I feel like, yes, I damaged his car. And I, I completely acknowledge that. I was wrong, I was pregnant. And I, I, I let my pregnant emotions overwhelm me, but I felt like I was alone. Like I said, we had planned this baby, and for you to act, for you to kind of give me suspicions that you're cheating and then not come to the baby shower... Ms. Standifer, I have established that Mr. Johnson was wrong, disrespectful, and inappropriate. But you have to say, accept responsibility that this was childish, immature, mm -hmm. and, quite frankly, uh, criminal behavior. And, That's and, just it is. And, That's and, what it is. And, Your Honor, if I might add, um, just this situation with how she's explaining, trying to explain the way, you know, the tires and, you know, um, her vandalizing my property, I feel like she doesn't take accountability for the wrong... Not okay. one of you do. Okay, so were you gonna take accountability how you took uh, another girl out on my birthday for ice cream? Oh, so my you God. Proving my, you proving my point as I make it. No, excuse me. What she's doing is adding evidence. Yes. So, Malik 
my birthday, he doesn't really celebrate. He, he says he doesn't really celebrate birthdays, but it seems like that's the only case when it comes to my birthday. Because on his birthday, we go out. That's I take him mama. to expensive dinners, buy some shoes. On my birthday, he told me that, um, he told me, he said, first he said he was going to take me to go get ice cream, right? And, oh, I'm babe, I'm going to take you. But then it switched to, oh, I don't have the money. And something switched. Oh, I don't have the oh, money. Yeah. I have to go do something for my mom. Miss Stanford, uh, let me, let me interrupt cream. your story. Excuse like, me. It's a steak dinner. But I knew you couldn't afford nothing. OK, here's my, here's my. I had a baby on the way. Here's my question. Let's just, let's break this down a little bit. Miss mm -hmm. Stanford, how many years have you all been dating? Uh, Only been three. together? I'm Only so three. And how many of those three years have you celebrated his birthday? All three? All three. We went to at, an expensive restaurant. I spent like three hundred dollars on the tab. Okay, so that's one birthday. Mm -hmm. The next birthday, I got him a full outfit with shoes. Mm -hmm. The second birthday, I, I mean, the last one, I don't remember what we did, but I'm, I'm um, a giver. I'm, okay. Like you said, I'm a, I'm a giver. So here's my question: On the first birthday that you had with you, do you recall what happened? No, because some reason we always fall out around Christmas and my birthdays, and then he try, he, we fall out, but then he, he makes up. Uh, he makes up conveniently. So but... the first time that happened, okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. The second time it happened, it wouldn't have happened again another time. So h help me to understand why you're still there. Because you're not getting what you want out of a relationship, are you? Mm, no. You, he basically is showing me, well, I, he's showing me, but not telling me. He's telling me something different, but his actions are saying another thing. Did it's... you have your ice cream birthday? No, I, he was supposed to, he was supposed to bring it to me and I was, cause I love ice cream. That's my love language. And he blew it off. He did, he never came and we had broke up and then we got back together and I'm going through his phone and I find out that he took a, he, t he gave, he got some ice cream and took it to another girl's house on my birthday. Man. Well, your honor, we was broken up before the birthday. But we got back so, together. And so... The person I took the ice cream to was just a co-worker. It was not a co-worker. It was some white girl that yeah. you had made on a date in that. I mean, it was just a co-worker. It, it was... I seen the messages. See, if, if, I, wish, I wish I had the messages because he's such a narcissist. Mr. You don't Johnson, put it in his face. Mr. Johnson, you took your woman's favorite thing over to another woman's house mm. in and around the time that it was her birthday? Help me to understand why you would do something like that, sir. I got into his Facebook, and simultaneously, while he was texting me, baby, I love you, I'm done with it, I'm done with all the games, he was texting the other girl. A th simultaneous text? Yes, to the ex. In the message on the right, there's nothing sexual going on there. You're the only person that I really connect with. Uh -huh. It was the same time. The same day, same time, simultaneously. Horrible. Like I said, it, it was just a coworker. We weren't together at that point in time. Oh, wait, this is a person that works with you? No. Yeah, it was just a coworker. No. Even worse. So, a miscellaneous it, person. A pl plutonic, you know. No, I, no, no. I'm not sure what she's talking about with Tinder. Do I look like I be on Tinder? Yes. I'm way too smooth for that, Yana. Um, no, you think you're way too smooth for that. That's the difference, okay? Mr. Johnson, here's my problem. That just sounds foul. Mm -hmm. And it also sounds mean. It sounds... I didn't know you were mean. I'm... Why would you do something mean? Because you know that's her favorite thing. I'm not a mean person. Then why would you take ice cream over to some miscellaneous woman's um, home or, or work? Uh, why would you do something like that? Because well, you like know... like I said, it was just a work colleague and we... It were... doesn't matter. No. It's something that's important to her. You did that on purpose. I mean, I, I have... You say he's a liar, he's a cheater. I mean, I don't know if I, I don't know if he really loves me or am I just like a placeholder? Because when when we're not on good terms and he's trying to talk to other women, he puts me down so much. It's your weight. It's the way you look. Why do you wear makeup? Why do you wear extensions? Like you're a beautiful little girl. I don't understand what that. But I think he tries to. I think he tries to tear me down. I think he tries to tear me down a lot, and it's. I don't get why, though. Well, to speak to, speak why, to why, my, why do my behalf, you, I do have a witness. In order to cheat, your why honor. do you have to tell me Well, I'm going to get to your witness, because I, I, I understand that this, this flirting and this, this is not the only time. 
No, he's actually went as far as to trying to get a smoke session with the girl, and that was the final straw. A smoke session? Yes, a smoke session. I, I don't even like that he smokes weed, but, yeah. Because he can't smoke it around my house and my daughter. So I guess he wanted to... He rekindled a smoke session with his ex, and... Wasn't an ex. Yes, she was. She's an old friend. J Did you sleep with her before? Yes. No, Your Honor. Yes. Sleep Oh, no. Nah. Are you, Mr. Johnson, did you just look at my look me in the face and lie? I mean, because now you know I don't know the difference, but you nah, know if you're lying. Nah, you know if you're lying. No, nah, I didn't. I have never slept with her, Your Honor. You, yes, you did. You've told me. Your Honor, I have no clue what she's talking about. Like so, I after, said, after I found out he was trying to have smoke sessions with his mm -hmm. ex, I kicked him out. I kicked him out of me and our home. I can't do it. That was like the final straw. I can't keep doing this toxic, part. toxic cycle. That's the crazy but then, part. Let me show you how no, you're going to no see evidence true proof anything. I'm talking. I kicked him out and he can, he can he can make you feel like you're crazy. Like, oh no, you're crazy. I That's not what happened. You me. At all. You do that. Uh, Mr. Johnson, please. So, I got into his Facebook and simultaneously, while he was texting me, baby, I love you, I'm done with it, I'm done with all the games, the lying, the cheating, he was texting the other girl, because, like I said, he's not so financially stable. He was texting the girl, oh, when I wasn't financially stable, I was just basically, my ex took advantage of me, I don't really love her, you're the only person that I really connect with. It was the same time, the same day, same time, simultaneously. Horrible. There's evidence of this? Yep. Yes. You brought a witness today. Miss Standifer, are you related to the plaintiff, Miss Standifer? Yep, that's my sister. Yeah, that's my little sister. And the plot thickens. What in the world are you doing standing next to the defendant? I'm trying to help her relationship because I see he's a good dude. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. May I please see the evidence? To the left, this is the defendant texting you, Miss Standerford. Yes, correct? I'm done with it, baby. That's I'm me. done with it, baby. I'm done with it all. The separation is eating me up, and I've done and said all the wrong things, and I just can't adjust to life without you. Okay. To the right, what is to the right? A the... simultaneous text? Yes, to 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 the to the ex. You're the only one that I keep going back to, and I actually want to talk to and be around because. You so stress-free and funny and got good conversation. And I can say, just so uh, that Mr. Johnson is assured, I looked at the dates and the times in my evidence. They're, they do line up, okay? I'm just, for your privacy, not going so yeah, to honor, put it the, up there. Honor, in the message on the right, there's nothing sexual going on there. If you stand in my courtroom and look me in the face and tell me that my eyes don't see what my eyes just saw, I'm gonna throw you out. Cause what you're not gonna do is disrespect me and make me think that I'm stupid. Let me know. I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. Let me know. Cause that bull that you just pulled, you know exactly what you were doing. Okay? You brought a witness today. Yes, I did. Because I kind I wanna see this. And the interesting part about it, ma'am, uh, will you please join the defendant at the witness table? I find it very interesting because the witness, if I understand it right, is Miss Sarah Standifer. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Miss Standifer, are you related to the plaintiff, Miss Standifer? Yep, that's my sister. Yeah, that's my little sister. And the plot thickens. What in the world are you doing standing next to the defendant? I just want to know. Because I need to speak up for him. Okay. Speak up. Yeah. Just I... one second, Miss okay. Standifer plaintiff. I want to find out what Miss Standifer witness has to say. Malik's a good man, and Diamond's my little sister. I love Diamond, and I love her so much that I'm trying to help her relationship because I see he's a good dude. I would be wrong if I would just, just to, just to vouch for her. And I know she got some shortcomings, too. Did you just hear the testimony? Did you just see all the evidence? And yes. you think that that is evidence of a good man? I just want to be clear on your standard of a good man. Yes. That's what you want in your life. That, I, I want to be very clear about that. Are you married? No. Ooh, my favorite Bahamian statement. <laughs> Loose goat don't know how tied goat feel. 
child. You don't know but nothing listen, about what she, a good man is. This is this is the thing. That is a small piece. You gotta realize they've been dating for three years. That is a small piece of their relationship. Overall, he's a good man. No Overall, that is, is perfect, the all. But a loyal woman and a trying man is everything. Are you gonna leave your man just because he cheat one time? It's not just one time, though. And you're you're over there, and I don't know, it's because How you don't know. Times? How many times do, do your dude gotta cheat for you to leave him? I never Yeah, I should have been left. It was too many to count. So why didn't you? Because he's a good man. You obviously something in, see no. something in him that you, that's keeping you drawn towards him. I mean, you just gotta keep it no. real. And I gotta be Actually, Ms. Sanford is making a very good point. Why are you still there? I think it's an excellent point. Why I, are you still there? I think she, it's, it's just, a, He's a good man. No, I think it's because it's familiar. I got comfortable in the situation. But I, I, I'm... We're done now. Do you work outside the home? Yes, I work. And I, I've always kept a job. I can't and, say the same about And home. do you all share financial responsibility at the home that you live in? Yeah, but if it mainly falls on me because his philosophy is, oh, Dami, you make more so I can take on more in the burden. That's another thing. Who wants to... Who, why would I want to be intimate? Here's on my question. If he were to take his pictures and his plants in a box tomorrow, would that change your lifestyle at all? It would change no. your lifestyle totally. Excuse me? I'm gonna find this out. Would it change your lifestyle at all? No. I would still be able to do what I do. I got something to say because yes, I feel this really stuck out to me. Like, when they first started talking, I feel like they've only been talking for a couple weeks, a couple months. She called a flat tire and called me. I told her I was busy. I couldn't do it. But Malik had ended up coming. And this I man... I Mind you, he was like 24 or 23 at the time, young. This man changed her tire, towed it to the car light, checked the car, had him check the car and pay for all of that. And, I mean, you that see, is just initiative. You didn't money, have to beg him. You didn't have to call you see, him. Your Honor, I don't get money, the credit for the money good stuff. Money is not Absolutely. everything. I just get blamed for money the bad stuff. Money is not everything, but Diamond, you have to recognize a good man when you see a good man. Miss Jennifer, Miss Sarah no, Jennifer, again, no, I'm going to come to you because the standard of what a good man is, um, bless your heart. But I so appreciate that Mr. Johnson stood up like that, and I apologize. For saying how were you raised? Because whoever raised you to do something like that, he's not that's only the a right good person. man, he's a God fearing man. Okay. So any, I mean, yes, if I'm if he if he make a Fair. mistake, he's going to repent. I mean, he's going to pray for forgiveness. Let me tell you something. I'm a whole lot of things, but God is not one of them. And you don't repent in my courtroom. All you do is bring in evidence. I apply the law. I give you my opinion. And I bless your heart, and I'm appreciative of you being here. Mm -hmm. But your standard of what a good man is <laughs> is your standard of what a good man is. Well, Your Honor, okay, she... a nice man. She tells me. Excuse I'm a good me. Man. No. A nice man changes the tire. A generous man pays for everything. A good man does not text miscellaneous women from his own bed with the woman that he's sleeping well, with. Excuse me. That. When I'm talking. I don't need you to talk. Let me explain something to you. Relationships can be complicated. They can be difficult. But what they can't be is built on a lack of trust. You don't trust this man as far as you can see him, and there's no reason for you to trust him. And y'all might be enjoying each other, having a good time talking about what a good man is, but you need to look in the definition. You are not a good man. You are a cheater and a liar and a sneaky, disrespectful person. Sorry. That's your opinion. Yep, it is my opinion. And guess what? As long as my name is there, it's the only one that matters. I'm done. That's fine. I'm taking me, Zuri, That's and the dog, fine. and I'm leaving. We'll see how that works out for you. It's gonna work out just fine. We I got money. I don't know about you. you. Robert, you start, because I don't know where All to. right, so let's see. The divorce court scales of justice. Okay. The evidence. That thing was toppling over. What, 100%. The lady justice will never be the same after that. This man was caught in more ways. Incredible. And one, did not want to take accountability. And when he did take accountability, he would try to throw something back over Absolutely. at the plaintiff. Absolutely. And then came the star witness, who is the cult leader in Cheaterville. 100%. And this man is the mayor of the town. <laughs> it's enough already.
made in Georgia.